All right, Callum is drinking a Capri Sun. <laughs> he had an appointment today, so we walked because of his head. Normally we'd probably take the bike. Let me see your head. Yep, yep, he had a band Wait, around it. Where your boo-boo? <laughs> yeah, that's where your boo-boo is. So anyways, he and I, uh, we walked to his appointment. And that's now we're walking said. back home, huh? That's what you said before. Oh, that's what I said before. You know what, Calma? I'm getting old and don't quite remember everything I say all the time. That's why I need you and Linnea to constantly correct me. <laughs> and you do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Yay. Elliot's awake. He slept during Calum's appointment, which was nice. I don't, I don't know what they're doing. So we're going on a bit of a walk, just walking home. And uh, yeah, Linnea's home with Roman, who will go back to work tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're doing well. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna just lay down. Um, Today's a busy day. Roman went to the office. Oh, I can't lay like that because the it's a weird sound. Um, with my ear being pressed up here, I can't hear myself as well. Roman went to the office today. Uh, he's now doing two weeks, no, two days back during the week, like two or three days in the office, and then two or th two or three days here um, at home. Uh, and that's what everybody's doing now. So they're they're kind of slowly bringing people back in various stages. Um, but I assume that the bulk of the home office time is over. The kids are in the living room creating a mess, you know, usual stuff. Yeah, we're going on a trip uh, in two days. So today's Tuesday. On Thursday, we're leaving and going to Stuttgart. I hear Linnea. And then from Stuttgart, we're going to drive to France and we've got like a whole little thing planned and I'm really excited about it. France has sort of tightened down, oh, Elliot. France has tightened some uh, restrictions again, but it doesn't really affect us because Roman and I are vaccinated. We've got things in place to sort of keep the kids safe. Like, um, like for example, we're staying like in, in more populated areas, we're staying in places that have taken extra measures against the virus and like more cleaning and um, and we chose an apartment as opposed to a hotel to first of all allow more space um, also to have a kitchen to allow us to cook and you know eat meals at home that we can also spend a few hours at home if it's rainy or um, the kids just need some downtime or I don't know, we feel like what we've planned that day might not be so safe. We have three kids, so we just need to be a little more lenient than Roman and I probably would be if we were just traveling by ourselves. I'm gonna be real with you guys. I really don't have intentions of sitting in crowded restaurants and um, I just don't. So we're looking at like takeaway options or like cooking at home, just ways to kind of isolate a little bit more. I'm hoping that because of these reasons we'll be able to get away and have a nice time and kids are so excited they're in the living room right now listening to French music eating croissants have a lot we have a lot planned that the kids don't even know about um, in the next few weeks that the vlog doesn't know about and I'm just I'm really really excited to just I don't know live you know I'm excited to be alive again and not just in lockdown so um, yeah Anyways, I've got to get to cleaning. I'm washing bedding. <laughs> I've got to get the kids' beds stripped and done. Hey, you. Yeah, that's milk. Yeah, can you bring it to the table? Are you listening to music? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So. Oh, you've got your croissant. Third kid, guys. He just. I'm gonna get your chair, Elliot. Okay, so I'm maybe I'll just put you guys here. Is this? You guys are in my closet. Okay, I'm gonna put you guys here. Oh, it's so dark. 
This is not a good shot. Not a good shot. I don't even know if you guys can see me. I'm just getting stuff out of my drawers. I've got to get my PJs. What's wrong, baby? What's wrong? I see in a B. I see a stone. Good. I see toes and warm. Nose. Nose. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're doing well. We are leaving tomorrow on vacation and to be honest I'm very nervous because we have planned several things over the year that just never worked out and I'm a little nervous because we had a we had a rough experience when we planned stuff and then had to cancel plans on the kids or like Mommy. cancel people coming. Yes, yeah, sweetie. Mommy. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, we just, we've had a lot of canceled plans and a lot of, uh, a lot of tears and just, I mean, for everybody. It's been that way for everybody. So, Roman and I planned this trip to France assuming that, um, numbers would be lower with it being summer because, like, last year the numbers were lower in the summer. So we thought, if this is our one time to get away for the year, this is it because Callum and Linnea aren't in school and I don't think I would be very comfortable traveling in the winter given, you know, Elliot's lungs and all the sickness and generally just how winter was last year in the pandemic. I just, I don't know, winter traveling just feels a lot scarier than uh, summer travel. So, <laughs> um, kids are loud. So we planned this trip to France. And Roman and I were like, okay, well, we'll, we'll plan it so that we can cancel it if we need to. And so far, we haven't canceled. So we're actually gonna drive first to Stuttgart. Um, that's also cutting up the trip into two so that we're not driving just 10 hours with the kids. And We've got a lot of really exciting stuff planned and it's like I was always just waiting for this other shoe to drop and it'd be like, Ugh, you know, we can't actually go, but hi buddy, but we're going to try to go and make this work. So do you want to go with mommy to get some water? Should we go, do you want to go to Riva? Anyways, so I'm going to run a few errands today. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to run a few errands today and then, yes, I'm coming. And then we're leaving tomorrow. So 